Assalamualaikum. Welcome to this video tutorial on ASP.NET 4.5 for students of King Faisal University and for others who want to learn ASP.NET. This is part 24 in the series and is entitled Grid View, Details View, and Form View in ASP.NET 4.5. The data controls grid view, details view, and form view are powerful because they automatically bind the whole table. For activity number 24, we will create an ASP.NET website and place it in CASP activity 24. We will create a SQL Server database called Employee with one table called Employees. This will have five columns and three records. Then we will create a web form called Default and we will drag the Employees table to the form. Later, we will add form view and details view also from the data toolbox. We will enable paging, sorting, inserting, editing, deleting, and selection whenever appropriate. Let's create our website. Activity 24. And we will create our SQL Server database called Employee. Yes, our table is called employees. The first field is amp ID and it is an identity. True. Next is amp name, which is of bar car 50. We will not allow nulls. Next is birthday, which is date. Next is um, permanent, which is a bit. And the last one is gender, which is bar car of size 6. The name of our table is employees. You can update now and update again. Then we will add three records. First one is Fatima, January 1, 1992. True. Female. Next one is Ali, February 1, 1990. True. Male. And the last one is Maria. March 1, 1994, false, and she's a female. We can now create our web form, add new item, it's a web form, and let's go to the design view where we are going to drag our table employees. Now let's try to change our uh, grid view so that it will enable paging, sorting, editing, deleting, and a selection. On top of it, we're going to add a form view. So let's go back to toolbox in the data. And we'll first place the form view. The data source is the automatically generated SQL data source one, and we will enable paging. Below it, we're going to add details view, the same data source, and we will enable the four items. Okay. And as really as now, we can already manipulate our that data. So let's try to run it and look at it in our browser. So this is the form view, the details view, and the grid view. So let's try to add a new record. Name is Ahmed. Birthday is April 1, 1990. It's not permanent and his gender is male. Let's click insert and you can see that Ahmed has been added also in the grid view. To continue with our activity, we will put some style in our view so whenever appropriate, we're going to edit the column so that the command field will become a button and will move it to the last and the scheme will make it brown sugar. 
So let's start with the form view. We'll change auto format to brown sugar. Apply, okay. And for the details view, we'll apply also brown sugar. Apply, okay. And we can edit the fields so that the command field will have a button type of button. Okay. You can see it there. And also in the grid view, we'll change the other format to brown sugar. And we can edit also the columns. First, we will put the command field as the, as the last field meaning it will be on the right, and the button type will make it also button. There. There are different types of columns that we can utilize in our views. As of now, we've used only the bound field, the checkbox field, and the command field. If you select the grid view and go to the source, you can see these three types, bound field, checkbox field, and command field. To continue with our activity, we will change the controls to display and edit the birthday field from label and text box to calendar. We will do the same for the gender from label and text box to radio button list. And the last, we will add another column to compute the current age of the employee. So let's go back to the design view and edit our columns. We'll start with our birthday. We have to convert this field into a template field. Then click OK. Then we will edit the templates. We'll start with the item template. You can see that currently in the template is a label. Is a label. So we will delete it and drag a calendar object. We have to edit the data bindings. We're going to change the selected date. We'll bind it to the birthday. Notice that there's the bind. And for the visible date, we will Make it show also the birthday eval. Click OK. And another thing, we don't want the user to change it, to be able to change it. So we're going to set enabled property to false. Let's try to look at it in our browser. So you can see that uh, there are this calendar controls in every record. Fatima was born on January 1, 1992, Ali on February 1, 1990. But let's try to edit uh, Fatima's record. Notice that when we edit it, we are not editing it using the calendar, but still with the text box. That's the next thing we're going to do. So go back to editing template. Instead of item template, choose edit item template. Notice that there is the text box. We will delete it. And again, drag the calendar object. We will edit data bindings, same. The selected date must be on the birthday and the visible date also on the birthday. And we will allow it to be enabled. So let's look at it again in the browser. So if we edit now Fatima's birthday, you can see that we can do it using the calendar control. Let's make it January 15 and update. Now that is her birthday, January 15. We will do the same thing with um, the gender. So we will add template editing and go back again to edit columns, this time for the gender. Here's the gender. So we will convert this field also to a template field. Click OK and edit templates. We'll start with the item template, but not for the birthday, but for the gender there. Item template. Again, we will delete the label control, and instead, we're going to use a radio button list. The radio button list will have items of male and female. Okay, then we will edit the data bindings. We're going to have only one. Uh, we're going to change only one property, and that is the selected value. We'll set it to the gender, so that's binded to the gender, and click OK. We will do the same thing with editing it. So 
we will change the edit item template and we will remove the text box and again dra drag the reach button list we will again edit items so that he will see these two values male and female and we will edit the data bindings again for the selected value binded on the gender okay so we can end template editing and look at it in the browser so now there's the gender male and female in radio button list for the last uh, part we're going to add a column for the age so we're edit going to edit columns we'll select template field we will add and in the header text we will put age let's click ok now we can edit the templates the template we'll have it for the age the item template it will just be a simple computation so we will drag a label and then here in the label we will edit the data bindings and we're going to use custom binding and we will create our own method to get or to compute the age so to do that we'll have it a get age uh, evil for the birthday and we'll send it as a string value okay so the next thing we have to do is to create that or to define that method so we'll have it public integer get age and it has one argument let's call it birthday so let's declare why our variable d which will simply convert our argument birthday to a date and time then we need another variable age our age will be a simple computation of the year now so that is the year now minus our birthdays here and that is what we're going to return so let's try to look at it there is our age so Fatima is uh, from 1990 to 2013 minus 1992 is 21. Ali is from 1990, so 2013 minus 1990 is 23, and uh, so on. Well, congratulations. We just finished discussing grid view, details view, and form view in ASP.NET 4.5. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Ma salama.